Hey everyone, it's Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4 and uh, after a couple electrical failures and the Kyoshio Blizzard I decided to pick up a Sabretooth 2x12 RC controller. Now this ESC is uh, fairly common as far as Kyoshio Blizzards go. Uh, Basically what it is, is it's a, a two motor or a dual motor uh, output uh, ESC. So you just plug in one battery lead and you get two leads to the, the receiver still. But uh, it keeps the ESC as one unit. Now if you haven't seen this before, um, here is kind of what it looks like in here. I'll take it out in a, a second. But um, I built this radio box for it. And you can see the leads from the motors that I've already done uh, going into it. It actually has clamps. So you don't uh, actually solder anything to it. Which can be nice. But it can also cause issues. Uh, the only issue I've had with that so far is that the 14 gauge wire that I'm using is a little bit large to fit in there so it can be done but it's a little bit of a squeeze so if you are planning on doing this I would recommend using a bit smaller wire than 14 gauge but uh, that's what I had so that's what I use alright I'm gonna take it out and I'll see you in a second alright so if you've not seen it yet this is the Sabretooth 2x12 ESC itself uh, it's kind of more bare bones. Uh, Sabretooth makes robot controllers also. And uh, you can see the circuit board in here and the capacitors. And uh, also over here we have dip switches. Now we will actually have to use these to uh, program which settings that we want. Uh, it's not like your traditional uh, ESC where you go through a sequence of things to program it. You can actually do this uh, through all these little tiny switches and we'll get into that uh, in a minute here. But you still have the two output controls and um, we have four screw holes right uh, in all the corners which I have chosen to utilize in my radio box. But it comes in this nice case. Uh, you have this foam pad and then underneath it you have this instruction manual. I have read through the whole thing and uh, it's definitely something good to read through if you're installing this. And you also get hardware to mount it, but I just used uh, some hardware that I had around so that I could just screw it into the plastic without the nuts. Now, you can fit the Sabretooth ESC inside of the stock radio box and it will fit but it doesn't leave you a whole lot of room for your receiver so since I like to build stuff I made this uh, this little box here which uh, it has all six holes for mounting on these two rails here that run across the chassis of the Kyosho Blizzard if you can see those the stock radio box mounts on those too but I'm only using this hole right here and this hole right here to uh, to actually mount it to those rails and then the ESC mounts up with four of its own holes kind of like right here and then the receiver fits off to the side in here but uh, I just thought I would show you this to you guys and uh, all my wa my uh, larger wires for like motors and the battery come through here and then my servo wire comes through this elongated hole in the bottom and uh, yeah so this just goes in kind of like this we can put our servo wire in first. And then we'll just leave that there. Now, as far as the dip switches go, it has this little plastic piece over it, which uh, I have peeled up just a little bit. But I'm gonna read through again 
because I never changed the switches. But on the back side, uh, it goes through which all what all the switches do. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swap those around off camera, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I uh, changed my switches to my preferences. Uh, which the first one up that's mix mode down is just separate joystick control um, This is one of the main features of this it has its own mixing mode inside of it For uh, so that you can use a pistol grip controller, but I'm still going to use the stock radio over there Because I like having the joystick control movement for the plow and Number three is lithium mode, so I have that switched down. And then number six, if I have that switched down and number five up, that'll let you calibrate it. So I might have to do that, I'm not sure. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the wire leads back in this and plug it in, and then we will see where we're at. All right, everything is hooked up we got the whole red black red black red black pattern going I still have to hook up the receiver and the radios on now so I will just be using the factory Kyosho um, radio here so I'm gonna guess that one is gonna be our forward and reverse channel. Uh, so I'll put this one in three just so I can tell the pattern that these go in. I like these, uh, the, the servo plugs that have the piece that'll only let it go in one direction. Very hopeful that this works. I guess we will turn six down, switch six down, and switch five up so that we can calibrate it. Put this standard. Maybe three and four are the actual driving ones. I guess we'll see. Alright. Cross fingers. Oh wait, we gotta put a six in it. So now I really wanted this controller because I wanted to be able to control it off of this one because uh, I'm really used to running like a blade and things like that off of the right side. Uh, like if you've ever run a tractor before, you're used to having the loader joystick on the right side. So I've got all the receiver things switched over here. Now we just gotta do our switches. Switch one up, switch two up, three down. All right, controller on. Go ahead and plug it in. Got Not exactly sure what happened there, but uh, I guess we'll try it again. So last time I reversed this and it went a little haywire. There it goes again. Doesn't like that either. Okay, so this this appears to be forwards, backwards, and then I'm steering. 
So, I guess I'll switch the receiver channels. So, if you are running this for the first time, feel free to uh, pop this up on uh, some stands here so it doesn't go crazy. Or uh, just remove the motor pinions, might be a good idea. I guess it doesn't like it if you uh, reverse channels for some reason. I apologize if my hands seem a little shaky, but uh, I hope you can understand why. <laughs> Talk about things going wrong. Okay, so forwards, check, reverse, steering. We know it works now. After uh, a few quick failures there, the buzzing sound is my servo here. Alright. Well, I'm gonna get this wrapped up here quickly and then I will talk to you guys then. Alright guys, well uh, that's the Sabertooth ESC installed. Full uh, 14 gauge wiring to and from the ESC for the motors now. Uh, so I've driven it around for a little bit just in the living room and uh, you can definitely notice it's a little more sensitive and uh, it puts out a lot more power than uh, than these stock ESCs do. You can tell I didn't change the motors at all and this thing's got probably a speed gain and it feels like definitely a torque gain too. So um, that was a pretty smooth install. Uh, aside from the uh, slight jump off the table there that really caught me for surprise but um other than that seems to be working well uh, the only thing I've noticed so far is that if you jump on the throttle um, with these motors about mid throttle um, it seems to kind of lag a little bit but I think that's the fact that these are little 370 motors and uh, this ESC might be a little bit large for them. But other than that, the transmission, since it's all plastic, it does feel, you can hear it, the gears clicking uh, when it's under a little bit too much torque. Uh, this thing will come to a dead stop uh, as fast as that transmission will let it, basically. But uh, I really can't wait to try it in the snow. We haven't gotten anything significant yet. But, um... It all fits under this body here. Pretty nicely still. I can't use my splash guard. I haven't been able to use that since I made that fan radio box. So that's all right. I might try to make like some kind of panel for in there since I did make that radio box. But uh, a last comment, I'd like to thank uh, Aaron King. He commented on one of my Blizzard running videos. Uh, talking about the metal tracks and uh, we got on the topics of, of electronics and he told me that that ESC worked with the motors and that was kind of uh, what pushed me to finally upgrade so thank you to him uh, really glad I did it seems to be working well so far but I will keep you guys updated in the future so uh, Thank you for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.